Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing another 5 by 7 inch shutter card that is a Christmas card this time around. I am really loving making these these shutter cards, um, especially in this size, and it's not my original idea or measurements. I will put a link below to Sam's video um, because there's no point in me just copying her measurements and putting them up. She deserves the YouTube views. And I've shared the Halloween shutter card that I made and it was hugely popular. So I hope you like this one as well. As I said, it's a five by seven shutter card. So it fits in a standard A7 envelope. And I stamped on the flap and the front as well using the Mary Moose stamp set. And this one is a different one from Stampin' Up! I can't remember which one it is, but I always have a full supply list including card size, what envelope I used, everything on my coordinating blog post, and that'll be linked below as well. So it is held closed with a belly band, and as I explained in my Halloween video, I have actually given gatefold cards to people that are held closed with a belly band and they don't know how to open it. So I add. Um, normally I right slide off on on the belly band but because I know I'm going to be making a number of these shutter cards I did use my label maker and I printed off I don't know five or six of them and the reason I did a number of them is because I don't like waste and the label maker always leaves a whole section probably an inch on either side if you only print off one item. So this way I could just have two spaces in between each one and I got five or six and then I'm only wasting the little bit of label tape on each end of the printed piece. Simply cut them apart with scissors and I've got my slide off labels that adhere on. So I used the Mary Moose again, uh, the Mary Moose stamp set and punch from Stampin' Up! I got it last year, but I'm pretty sure it's in the catalog again this year. The Merry Christmas is included in the stamp set, as is the scarf, which I fussy cut. And I did add a little bit of shimmer, Wink of Stella, to his antlers and the scarf. And then a single peel-off gold snowflake to the sentiment. Now the sentiment was stamped on a half inch strip of white cardstock and I used the Stampin' Up! Banners Pick a Punch to fishtail the ends and then the green layer is a three quarter inch width of cardstock and I used the same punch. So the punch accommodates a half inch, three quarters of an inch and one inch. So it's a very versatile punch. I'm so glad I got it. The little stitch snowflake there is from Lawn Fawn and let's check out the inside. So the belly band, as I said, slides off. As you open up the card, the shutters open to reveal a nice winter scene again with the Christmas mousse. The pattern paper is an older pattern paper um, from Webster's Pages. I don't think it's all that old. It's probably only a year. Like I maybe got it last year and it's double sided. And I quite like that the other side is this gold print. So that's not glittered. It looks glittered, but it's not. It's just like glittered printed onto pattern paper, as are some of the other details. It's just printed to look like glitter. But it's, I mean, I would think if you used a glittered cardstock for the shutter mechanism, it would catch. But this is just printed paper and yeah, it's just the reverse side. So I used almost all of this. It was a 12 by 12 sheet. Can't believe I only bought one. Generally, I buy two 12 by 12 sheets when I'm buying a pattern. Um, but yeah, this time I only bought the one. <laughs> and so I used almost all of it up on this card with one small panel left over that I did use to make another Christmas card. This Sending Warm Christmas wish Wishes is from the same stamp set that this Pine Sprig came from. I didn't make a note of it, but it will be in my coordinating blog post in the supply list. Just a few more of the gold peel-off snowflakes from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And this snowflake here is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. All the snowflakes were die cut from a white pearl cardstock. And these two are more of the stitched snowflakes from Lawn Fawn. I created the little scene inside using the two trees that came with the Mary Moose stamp set. I stamped the moose on craft card stock and used the coordinating punch to punch it out. And then I just added 
some of the dye ink to my glass mat, picked the color up with a wet brush or a water brush, and lightly painted in the moose body, but not the antlers. The antlers did get a wink of Stella treatment, and as you can probably see, I did add acetate in behind. I love using acetate on my card, and I like that the acetate mimics the look of a camera lens. So another fun Christmas card that I'll be able to send out this year. I love sending interactive cards. I like the size of this one. So this is not an overly bulky card and it would mail for a single stamp. I did add my stamp from Riley and Company on the back. I got a lot of questions about that stamp. It's called Email on Mantle and it is from Riley and Company online. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my interactive cards. And that's it for me today.